one. Hey, I'm here aboard Chester, which is a water chestnut harvester that is used by the town of Asopus every summer to help and clear out an invasive species known as water chestnut or trapanatans. If you've ever spent any time along the Hudson River estuary, especially in freshwater, you're familiar with this plant. Here's a young water chestnuts with this rosette of leaves that have little flotation bladders on them and all along the shoreline are the black seed pods of these things, sometimes called devil heads. And got to be careful because they're very, very sharp and these seed pods can lay dormant for years before they bloop, bloom out into this long tendril of this floating water chestnut. Water chestnuts are an introduced species and an invasive species. They were brought to New York in the late 1800s and since in any kind of quiet waters, including uh, bays of the Hudson River or lots of lakes and ponds, if these get in there, they thrive. And one of the problems is since they float at the top with these, with these little air bladders, they will actually keep submerged aquatic vegetation from getting the sunlight that they need. So they block the light from getting down into the water. And most of the oxygen that these make through photosynthesis, since they're floating at the top, goes up into the air instead of down into the water. In fact, if you go into a water chestnut bed at low tide, particularly on a warm summer morning, you're going to find that the oxygen levels in the water under those chestnuts are going to be very, very low and harmful to fish and other aquatic organisms. So the town of Asopus is out here trying to control their water chestnuts, not just for ecological reasons, but because this is also a huge nuisance to people who want to use the river recreationally, boaters, swimmers, fisher folks. Um, water chestnuts really uh, have a lot of effects on recreation and ecology, so way to go town of Asopus and Chester for trying to get on top of that. By the way, this boat basically has a large conveyor belt that has a sickle bar on the front of it. And as it slowly moves through the water, that sickle bar cuts the water chestnuts. The conveyor belt takes them out and it dumps into the bed behind me here. And we're going to dump this bed out and keep on harvesting tonight, trying to clear up the Hudson from some of its invasive species. Thank you.